penny to that, and we create our entry price of $44.58. At the same time, what we want to do is create our entry price for the lower end of the trade. If you take a look at this bar again, you can see that the low is $43.71. So we want to subtract a penny from that and create our entry at $43.70 short. In other words, if the uh, price the very next day breaks through the lower end of this uh, inside day's trading range, then we want to go short at $43.70. If it goes above the high of the trading range of this inside bar, at, then we want to go long at $44.58. What we want to do is we want to see who has the most power on the day after this inside day is created. We want to see which way, uh, the, who's going to win this tug of war. Is it going to be the bears or is it going to be the bulls? The things that you need to calculate include the range of this particular bar. If we take the high of the bar, which is 44.57, and we subtract it from the low, which is 43.71, we get a range of the inside day of 86 cents. In order for us to determine our targets, what we do, we take the range of the price and simply add it to our entry price. In this case, our first target is 44 dollars and or 45 dollars and 44 cents which is 44 dollars and 58 cents our entry price plus the range which is 86 cents for a target uh, first profit target of 45 dollars and 44 cents now before this bar was created we would have these set up on our charting system our second profit target is created in the exact same way. We would take our range, which is 86 cents, and add it to target number one, which is $45.44. Uh, normally, it's a little bit easier for me to take the target number one of 45.54 or 45.44, and just add the 86 cents to it to get target number two, which is $46.30. To calculate our third uh, profit target, all we have to do is add 86 cents to profit target number two, and we come up with profit target number three. In this particular example, uh, we count the inside day as day one, we count the very next day as day two, the next day after that, day three and day four the day after that. In this particular instance, <clears throat> we would have entered this position uh, precisely at uh, 44.58 when the stock began to trade above, one penny above the uh, prior day's high of, the, of our inside day. Our first target was hit on the very next day at 45.44. Now, Generally, uh, conservative traders will get out at that point, take a profit, and move on to the next position. If you're a slightly more aggressive player, you might want to have take half of your position at target one, and then move your stop loss up to break even at your entry point of 44.58. That way, at least you have a profit on half of your shares, and then the remaining shares uh, you would have a break-even point of 44.58, and then if, in fact, the uh, stock continued to trade higher and hit target number two, as it did in this example, you would you would uh, then sell out another 50% of your shares uh, at $46.30. In this particular case, if we had a thousand shares that entered at 44.58, we would uh, sell immediately. Uh, half of those shares are 500 shares at 45.44. Move our stop loss up to 44.58, our entry price on the remaining shares, 
and then as the stock continued to trade and hit our target number two, we would settle out uh, 250 of the remaining 500 shares, another 50% of our position, our existing position, at 46.30, leaving us with 250 shares yet. Uh, this particular example did not hit our target number three of 47.16. But as we get into the days, we have one day, two day, three day, four days. We have a uh, fourth day rule, which states that you are either to exit the position at the close on the third day or the open of the fourth day, whichever you fit your uh, comfort and trading style the best. Because this trade is really meant to work very, very quickly. In other words, after the fourth day, if you're not hitting your profit targets or any of your profit targets, and that could happen. I mean, this could, the, the, uh, the particular type of strategy that we're, we're using generally will have an explosive move like this one. But sometimes it'll just kind of hang around down here and won't really make any progress at all. If that's the case, on the fourth day, uh, whether or not we hit our profit targets or not, you will want to exit this trade. Because if it's not working out after the fourth day, or then you want to exit it. This trade is meant to work very quickly, and if it doesn't, that means there's something wrong and you really want to get out of the position. Now, aggressive traders may, after the fourth day, if none of the profit targets are hit, you may want to exit the majority of your position, but keep a little bit just in case the move starts a little bit late. Now, the one thing I should mention right away is once you do enter the position, you want to set a stop loss limit at the opposite end of your inside day. In other words, if you're, you had, let's say you set up an entry at the 44.58 to go long on the position, and you had an entry of 43.73 uh, 43 cents in order to go short on the position. Once one, of, one side of your entry is filled, if your 44.58 long position is entered and filled, then you want to change the short um, order entry to a uh, stop limit, um, and that will be your stop loss limit right here at 43.70 as you begin this trade. Now, once you see the position actually starting to hit your profit targets, you might want to l raise this stop limit now up to maybe even 50% or this 25% top line, or maybe even your break-even point. In other words, once your position hits your tar profit target number one, you, you may want to just lift this uh, stop loss up along with the price trend and kind of follow along with it so that at least if you hit your profit target, then that is if you don't exit 100% of your position, then you want to make sure that you raise your uh, stop loss along with your profit targets uh, so that you don't, if there is a quick reversal, you'll be able to get out and still maintain your profitability in the position. Let's talk about trade management for a second. The benefit of the trade setup is really is that it's, it's really mechanical. You have precise entry points for your long position. You have precise entry points for your short position. So you really don't have a lot of choices in the trade when it comes to um, entering the position. You're going slightly above the high of this inside bar and slightly below the low of the inside bar. Now, in some cases, as I mentioned, aggressive traders can take positions, and let's just uh, zoom in here. Within these 25% channel lines, aggressive players may actually want to enter a little bit early in anticipation of a breakout to one direction or the other. But that's for aggressive traders only. In most cases, you're probably better off waiting for uh, your entry price, which is one cent higher than the high and one cent lower than the low of, of our inside day. In some circumstances, uh, there's actually a fake out. In other words, it breaks through the high of the inside day, but then immediately reverses and goes lower. And I'll show you an example of that very soon. If that should happen, there's actually an opportunity to reverse your position, and even though you've gotten stopped out on a, on a, and the position continues to go lower, you may have an opportunity to stop and reverse your position and go short once it hits 
the lower end of your entry and your short uh, entry position. But that's uh, really a rule for aggressive traders. I'll show you an example of that, and um, it's really quite interesting. Because, and the reason why that, would, that actually works out very, very well, is if the fake out comes up to the upside, and all of a sudden the bar reverses, the day reverses and goes much lower to the downside, um, there's a kind of a piling on effect. So that, you know, people know that if it broke through, people were buying the stock in anticipation of a breakout, and all of a sudden the bears came in and started selling like crazy. There's a piling on effect of people who had purchased the stock here now have to sell the position, and they're selling it at a much lower price, continuing to fuel the selling pressure on the stock, driving the stock even lower. Here's an example in Chesapeake Energy of exactly what a fake out looks like. You have an inside bar, which is a relatively narrow inside bar, at least 50% or less of the bar that precedes it. This particular inside day, uh, if you were to trade this, you would have entered a short position at 49.02. Well, as this particular stock traded higher, you would have been you would have uh, entered the position at 49.02 because it traded lower earlier in the day. It reversed and went up, hit your, hitting your stop loss at 50.01 uh, on the upside of this position, $50.01. You would have been stopped out of the position. Then, at the end of the day, it actually sold off and came back down under this position. If you had, uh, if you realized that you had gotten faked out and stopped out on this position, you probably, as an aggressive trader, if you are an aggressive trader, you would have re-entered your position at 49.02, and then you would have hit at least two profit targets here on the short side. So sometimes fake outs do happen. Uh, if you were entered here, you got stopped out here, you may. Um, want to re-enter the position after you see that this bar had reversed on the day into the lower 25% range, and that would have given you an opportunity to profit from this uh, particular position. Fakeouts do happen once in a while. They're not really frequent, but they do happen occasionally. Um, they, and if you do get stopped out, on a, it's, that's just part of the business. You do take a loss every once in a while on these types of positions. And that is the risk. However, if you do see a reversal bar like this, it's a fairly low risk opportunity to re-enter the position at the end of the day and then capture profits as that breakout continues to happen on the downside. Okay, now let's talk about exit rules and strategies. There are three rules when it comes to exiting the strategy once you have been filled. Uh, rule one is the position hits your stop loss. Remember that's part of the business. You lose money occasionally, and you move on to your next trade, as it happened in this particular uh, trade. Rule number two is that you hit one or more of your profit targets, which is the absolute best scenario. In this case, on a, in American Express, we hit profit target number one and profit target number two. The third rule is that we count the inside day uh, for, the, for the trade setup as day number one, and we exit the position at day number four or the close of trading on no day number three, whichever is more comfortable with your style of trading. We close the position whether or not any of the targets have been hit. In other words, we don't hang around for the trade to work, as I mentioned. Either it works or we get out. Conservative players are going to exit the position at target number one. Slightly more aggressive players may consider selling half of their position at target number one, uh, another half remaining position at target number two, and then the remaining position at target number three if it gets hit, or on the fourth day, uh, as we mentioned. Now, there are occasions uh, in special situations that, that we need to discuss to really be comprehensive in this strategy. Number one is if you're trading this particular inside day and you get a gap down the very next day, below your short entry price. You don't really need to do anything. Keep your order in and let the price come back up to your entry price. A gap down usually indicates strong selling activity. For example, let's say it 
let's say in this particular example, 